Hi everyone, welcome to part two of our tiny house organization. I'm titling this one Small Beginnings because not much has happened since last time um, I spoke to you guys. I did go to the dollar store and get a few bins to help organize a few things and I'll show you clips of that later. Um, I also, we also bought cube storage, so that whole 12 cubes that you have baskets in it, we're going to replace our dresser and put that there. It's four cubes high and three cubes wide, and then we're going to put a bookshelf above that for our books. Um, I've also been looking at Pinterest for ideas, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. I found an idea for a table that pulls down from the wall. I don't know if they actually sell these anywhere, if you'd have to get it made, but it's a picnic table. So it has seats, so we'd get to get rid of our chairs if that was the case. So I really liked that. Uh, we're also going to be getting rid of our file cabinet, moving to a smaller one, and then moving the rest of the stuff um, somewhere else in the clubhouse. So have I told you guys that we call this place the clubhouse? I don't know if I did in the last video. We call this place the clubhouse. That's what it's called. So before I show you guys a few clips of what I did this past week, I wanted to say a few things. So last week's video, someone asked me um, where we do our laundry. And there is a washer and dryer in the bathroom that we use. And we share the washer and dryer with the family um, that lives there. It actually belongs to them. They let us use the washer and dryer. So that's how that works. And then the other thing is I wanted to talk about budget for all this um, organization stuff. We don't have a budget for it. We, I am using money from our discretionary fund, which is kind of like a miscellaneous fund. We put about $50 into it every two weeks. So that's the money that I'm using. That we're still using that fund for the th other things that we need that are, that are discretionary. So like when my son has snack day at preschool and we need to bring a snack. I'll um, use money from the discretionary fund for that. Or if we need more pens or more no notebooks or something like that. So we're using discretionary fund for organization. So that's kind of, it's going to go slow, but we have a plan in mind about what we want to do. So we're just going to build up to that. Now that being said, um, I don't know if I'm going to be uploading a video every single week of this because there, there might not be enough progress to share. But when there is, I will upload a video, so you guys will come along with us for that. Um, even just buying organizing stuff is kind of overwhelming. It's like bringing it home and thinking, where in the world am I going to put this? So hopefully I'll actually use this stuff and <laughs> baskets and containers. And I got some cute glass things that are for candles, but I thought that it would be a nice place to put essential oils on so I can keep them all organized. See, I have essential oils everywhere, so that might be good. Okay, that's before. Okay, so I was going to put the supplements right here, but I, if I put all of them in bins, they stack really nicely in our spice cupboard, so I think I'm going to keep them there. And then I used one of these glass things to hold all of my essential oils over here. And then I'll use this one on my nightstand. Okay, so that's it for this week. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!